Hey, welcome back. Today, this is gonna be a fashion quickie because truth be told, this is within the month of uh, <clears throat> March and April and it's Lent. So your girl took a vow to Jesus on Ash Wednesday that I would not be shopping this entire month on top of not eating chocolate and not eating Garrett Popcorn Chicago mix. Yes, these are my addictions and I felt as though that I wanted to show proof in my faith to myself, to God and prove myself that I can be disciplined enough to not do those three things for 40 days. I mean, if Jesus can, can sacrifice everything for 40 days, why can't I? Now, I ain't here to push my religion and my faith and my beliefs and down your throat, but I'm just saying, Lent, I done gave up shopping, so I purchased these items right before Lent and I was like, you know what, this is a good little spring startup, so I wanted to share it with y'all. And plus it came like two weeks late. I don't know whose fault that is, um, but we're just gonna leave that at the door. But let's get into it. So I was on Mango's website a couple weeks ago and your girl was like, wait a minute, these are some really luxe basics. Now, I found about Mango years ago in Aruba. So where my family's from, my mom's side of family is originally from, and they had the first um, mango store experience I've ever had. And I loved their pieces and everything was just of good quality and just vibrant colors and the fit was on point for me personally. So I haven't shopped on Mango's website for a long time and I was like, girl, what, what y'all got going on? So some of the stuff, I believe was sourced from their US warehouses and then one of the items is from their European warehouse so I had to wait a little bit longer for that one. So let's just get into it. Pure basic pieces and then I have one piece that's not from Mango, it's actually from Levi but spring basics that I felt were super necessary to have right now as the weather is breaking, okay? Consistently, all right? So the first piece I'm gonna get into are these ribbed black stirrup leggings that actually the stirrup is not for the side of your foot it's for your toes i was like girl let me sign up for that i want to see how that looks because on the model it looks so cute with the open toe shoe that she was wearing it just gave it a little bit more character and i felt like i loved it Nice heavy weighted material, not too heavy, great for spring and summer, but just a nice knitted material that I feel like will stand the test of time overall. And I feel like these, I immediately saw with like this over, um, this off shoulder onesie that I have with a pair of like Aminas and a trench coat. But like, you can style this so many different ways. It's basically, leggings are that thing that you grab when you don't feel like wearing jeans or a pair of button pants or you just don't know what to wear on the bottom and you just wear it with like an oversized shirt. Which is a segue into the next item that I got. You like my, I have a handy dandy rack here that I could just put things on. Don't you, you like that, right? It's cute. So the next item is this oversized button down first of all i love the fact that it is basically two-toned we have this striped situation over here and it's like a red white yeah we like that we like that give it a little bubblegum pop there and then you have your basic white shirting on the side now obviously we're seeing oversized shirts again and again it was in the mix heavy last year it's back at it again. I feel like, to be honest, oversized shirts will never go out of style. I think it's a classy essential for everyone's wardrobe. And I feel like it's the boyfriend. Oh, I slept over my boyfriend's house last night. So let me just throw this on and just walk down the street because I'm not ashamed. It's giving that energy. And it's very chic, very 90s, very classic and very effortless, right? So I feel like with that, I totally see it with like a pair of wide leg pants and loafers and like a slouchy bag or even like a cream pair of pants and a beautiful pair of mules. Like you just can't go wrong. So had to snag that girl up. The next item is, so backstory real quick. I had a pair of jeans like this from H&M and 
they disappeared. I don't know what the hell happened. We all had those items in our closet that we love, 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 and then one day they just disappeared. And I'm like, who came in my house and stole my jeans? But I digress. So these jeans, can you see this? Look at that thing. Obviously recycled, two-tone. Look at the butt. Look at the, look at it. Uh, I love this. Now I'm definitely gonna probably have to get these tailored a little bit in the back because I had some space back there when I tried them on. But honey, these are everything. Girl, this. I love these. I love, love, love these. So, also with like an oversized button down and a pair of mules or minas, whatever kind of sandals, sneakers, whether it's the Stan Smiths or like, I don't even know, a pair of like Converse's. I just felt like, and it's it's not necessarily like a straight leg, it's borderline boot cut, but you have room around the leg opening for sure. I just felt like I really needed these. And then like I said, one of the items I had to, um, that I ordered were actually from the European warehouse, I believe, because I, I noticed, I think it came through Spain. And you know what? Even though it's like a fast fashion situation, I like the fact that they sent the shoes in a box. Um, I just feel like some of those brands, they just don't do that. They just throw the shoe in there with a, with a little dust bag and just pray to Lord that it just didn't get scuffed on the way over. But I had to get these mules because I felt like they were so classy. I love the shape of them. They're very sturdy looking, very smart, very uh, COO, CEO or executive assistant. Listen. Anyone, anyone could pull these off. I just felt like they were super smart and chic and sassy. These mules. And the back of the, you know how some, like most shoes have like a rounded area back here? I love that they did a square. I love that. But the heel's probably like two and a half, maybe three. I don't know, but I love that. They're a little hard but i feel like i love that and it gives a little bit of a shine here so i know that over time when it ages and i have that usage it's gonna like bend a bit here and i don't i don't mind that at all but these are so cute i know they're probably they're probably gonna take me a little while to break in because they are so structured but listen i don't really condone too much of uh purchasing fast fashion shoes because I had a nightmare of a situation once. I was working for Elle magazine and I was still in college at the time. I was an intern, only paid black intern that summer because of Bragg. Shout out to Bragg. Um, but I was walking down the street and I heard like a gapping sound and I had a pair of like platform sandals that were just luscious. Okay, they were from Zara and they literally cracked right in the arch of the foot and it was gapping as I was walking down Fifth Avenue, running errands, getting Starbucks and salads for the people in the office. It was embarrassing. Never again since then, but I felt as though that looks like a good structure shoe. Mango had never let me down, so let me just, let me just try that. But they feel very strong and sturdy. So, on to the next item. Now I told y'all, not everything was from Mango, one thing was from Levi. Actually, through Free People, I, I purchased them on Free People, but they're Levi. So I feel every girl, or gal, or every they, y'all need this. It's like an ecru. It's not a stark white, it's an ecru. Pair of straight leg denim. Look at that leg opening. You need that leg opening. Listen, I'm not saying to just disregard your skinny jeans. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying the classic touch, if you wanna go 90s chic, I'm a grown woman, I'm a grown man, then we're gonna do a little bit of a wider leg opening, okay? And that means we have to go the straight denim leg route, okay? 
straight denim leg don't mind me so these are the high waist slim straight 70s jeans from levi and i felt like they were super classy and i also prefer this off white as opposed to a stark white denim because i am messy boots okay and i just feel like i can pull off a little stain on these and wash it off whereas like you get a white pair of pants like super optic white and you get one little mark on it it don't look right after you wash it then it turns like green or something after you try to bleach the thing then your dry cleaner can't take it out it's just a thing whereas like an acro color i don't know i just feel like it ages better over time and then after a while i totally see myself getting paint all over these and then they're also just going to be great razzle dazzle situation after that so these can go with so many different things in my mind i definitely see like an oversized t-shirt and a pair of converses you know the 70s chuck in the acro color as well now i need like an acro button down like an acro denim button down jacket yeah yeah but anyway so i told you this was going to be a fashion quickie because this is a small haul i'm not shopping this month and these are just great pieces and now I've always said my style is very androgynous but like chic classic with a little bit of edge and I feel like these pieces with the other types of things that I have in my closet are great to marry with and let me know how you feel about it listen don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and your family let me know what you want to see more or less of and let me know if you got these things too and if you love them or hate them well we don't want to say hate you know what i mean you know i'll see y'all later i'll see y'all later bye